Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get a free .co.nr website domain. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go onto your internet browser. Mine's Mozilla Firefox, whatever you're using is good. Um, <clears throat> and uh, you take your website that you've got online. So if you haven't already seen how to put your website online, go and see the previous tutorial. There's a link in the description box. So here's my link. As you can see, it's fairly long. And if you wanted to send it to friends or whatever and say, go look at it, or if you wanted to tell your friends, chances are they're not going to remember with um, a length, uh, with a link that's like that. And some of them I've seen are really, really, like a lot longer. So I've loaded this site. And as you can see, it says test site. And below there's an image. I'll explain that later. Um, so if we want to shorten this, or if we want to get a proper domain like google.com, .com and .co.uk and things like that cost money, but there's this excellent website called freedomains.co.nr, freedomain.co.nr. So if we wanted edsjohnson.co.nr, for instance, all we have to do is we have to go to freedomain.co.nr. Um, and as you can see, it's free URL direction with no ads, um, totally free. It's a brilliant site, um, so when you're on it, scroll down and go to this. You can check if your domain is still available or if someone's already got it. Um, so I'm going to call mine edsjohnsontutorials.co.nr, that's what I want. Click check. And as you can see it says uh, congratulations, the domain is still available. Scroll down to the very bottom and click I want to sign up for the domain. Answer the security question, so that colour's obviously pink. Who is Britney Spears? She is a, she is a woman who sings songs. What is a hamburger? It's a kind of food. Click next step and read the terms and conditions. I've already got an account before, so I've read all the terms and conditions before. And click, I understand everything. And click, I have read, and I agree. Now, you enter your details, so your first name, Ed, your last name, Johnson, the country, which you're currently in, or the your home country, um, and your email address. Your email address has to be valid because they send you it. Now scroll down, and I'm gonna call my password test test. Test, test, type again. Um, oh, something's gone wrong. Test, test. Yep, sorry. Second one's wrong. Um, I'm going to call it test, test. And my account, this, this account is now deleted, so don't even try hacking it. In the target URL, um, not that you guys are going to hack it. In the target URL, you enter the site that you want it to redirect. So the really long site that you want it to change to, uh, to uh, you want to change. Um, now you get onto this page, which is where you fill out details about your site. And in site title, that's the title at the top of the thing, so my test site I'm going to put, you choose the category as well, which your website most fits, uh, a description, so I'm going to put a test website for my YouTube video. Um, and keywords, you uh, put a space in between them, so test, site, tutorial, YouTube, you can put as many as you want in there, there may be a limit, I'm not too sure. You can leave these as default, I recommend, unless you know what you're doing, and then you can change them. Go down to the bottom, click next step. You'll see all of the things, um, just make sure, run through them, and if they're correct, click um, click next, or complete. Click the complete button. Now it has sent an email through to my email, uh, uh, sent a new email through to my email account. So this is the email that you get. Um, and now the link back is the thing that was the image. It's absolutely required, and it's um, you have to have it, otherwise they'll delete your account. So, and it, ex it explains it here. So you click on the link, and link back simply means you have to copy and paste. You must copy and paste this HTML code into your website. Um, now, as you'll see, mine has already got it. You've got to have that image, that image there. You've got to have it um, if you're having a free, uh, if you want a free domain. Now, obviously, I've already got that. Um, so copy that, follow the the guidelines and rules below, like read all this page. Um, as you can see, it's got notes, so content at HTML and different things like that. Um, but you've got to have that or an alternative, which is like that. Just read that page. Um, but I've already done that. So now I'll scroll, scroll down on the email until I get to the part about activating my account. Now as you can see my username is Ed's Johnson Tutorials, my password is test test, my activation code is that. So I'm coughing copying, sorry, not coughing, copying the activation code and there's the link that you click to activate it. That's uh, you enter your password, you uh, paste control V or right click paste, 
uh, the activation code and click activate. And there you go, it's done. Congratulations, your website is now linking. So as you can see, edsjohnsontutorials.co.nr is now linking back to my test website. I have now shut down this site, um, so, it will not uh, so it will no longer work. Um, I just signed up for this video tutorial. But as you can see, it does work and you can do it with any website as long as you have the image and stick to the terms and conditions. Thanks for watching guys, more video tutorials coming up soon.